Hey, have you heard of um? Uh, it's uh, it's um, uh, it's like it's a thing called tick TikTok. 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 It's what the uh, children are using today. These um, they belong in a category known as Gen Z, which makes me feel old because that means I'm no longer the bottom of the barrel. What's after Gen Z? Davids. A bunch of Davids come up. Ooh, they're the problem. These uh, tick TikTokers have made something great. And um, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm an old man. I don't go on TikTok. Cause I'm too cool for that. I like reading newspapers and enjoying a cup of tea. But I was. Uh, I was shown the Ratatouille musical on TikTok. The kids made a Ratatouille musical, and um, well, so this is the first video here. The rat of all my dreams. I praise you, my ratatouille. May the world remember your name. And then it became this. Me, the ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. And then it grew to this. And now they have whole songs, like arts. People are doing set design for it. Um, it is f***ing impressive, to say the least. It is so good. And honestly, the music is fantastic. It is so good. It's no lie that I love musical theater. Um, it is my favorite thing next to, I don't know, <sighs> this Fozzie Bear pop final. But you know what? I would happily throw this in the garbage and never see it again. If I could just have an ounce of the spirit that these TikTokers have. I would like now to officially cast the TikTok Ratatouille musical. Now this is final. All the people I'm talking about, they have no choice. They must do this. They have to. Because if they don't, they'll just upset the kids. You know what upset these kids. Alright, let's start casting, shall we? Whoa! Let's start at the bottom. Let's do the chefs. There are four like key chefs in the Ratatouille movie. So we're going to have them in this, and I want them to play a big fun Broadway actors. Um, Rob McClure, Gerard Canonico, Eddie Cooper, and Raymond Lee playing these characters. I don't remember these guys' names. I'm going to, they're guys, you see the picture. You get it. You get it. But these guys are going to be our ensemble of chefs. Next up, let's stay in the kitchen. So let's cast our villain, shall we? Chef Skinner. Chef Skinner. In the movie is like a small Frenchman played by Ian Holm with the Bilbo Baggins. I think in this one we're gonna make him a little larger than life and make him um, James Monroe Iglehart, who is incredible. He's currently in Ducktales, but I mean, like he was in uh, Hamilton, he was in uh, Aladdin, so he's gonna be playing Chef Skinner the villain. He has to. Again, they all now contractually obligated to be in this. So. Next, let's go to the food critic. Now, the food critic in the movie had a small role, voiced by Peter O'Toole. In this, we need, like, a commanding voice where, like, he comes on for a moment, and he has a big ballad that will kind of sum up the show, and we need a booming, powerful voice. That's right, kids. I got Patrick Page. That's a Green Goblin, Hades Town, the Grinch, Green Goblin. Yeah, he also was Scar when I saw Lion King on Broadway. He was, he was Scar, so he's always going to be my Scar. <laughs> Let's uh let's move on to Remy's dad. Now Remy's dad so far in this musical is my favorite song. It's right here. Let's listen, shall we? I'm gonna freeze myself because I don't know how long I'm gonna show. So I'm gonna be like not moving. It's, I'm not. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. Don't waste your whiskers on dreaming. Try to see life as I do. Taking the smell of it steaming This wonderful dump here in front of you Trash is our treasure, it's all that we need Why ask for better when we're comfortably Finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel 
One human's trash is another rat's fuel, and you there, young Remy, are yet to find out that that's what the life of a rat's all about. So Remy's dad, I want to basically Broadway's dad, Tom Wolfhat. Tom Wolfhat was such a big dad in Cater and Fear. Tom Wolfhat was a great dad in Catch Me If You Can. I mean, he was a bad dad, but he was good in the part. Um, he's gonna be our dad. He's, he's, he's my dad. He's my brother. 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 All right, let's move a little closer to our stars. The narrator of the Ratsuit musical has essentially become Gustav, who is the chef in the movie voiced by Brad Garrett in our Broadway version. That's right. Richard Kind. Now, people are gonna be like, Patrick, Richard Kind's a weird choice. One, he's not the strongest singer. And two, he is the strongest singer, and you're wrong. He is so funny and wonderful and charming that he knows how to make you feel at home. He knows how to give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. He is our going to be our narrator. He's going to be Remy's conscious. He's going to teach Remy how to be a chef. So, yeah, Richard Kind, fight me. No, physically fight me. I want you to throw fists. Come fight me. Find me. I'm not going to play you there. That's part of the game. And now we're moving closer to our three leads. Let's start with Colette. In the movie, uh, surprisingly voiced by Gene Garofalo, uh, you can't even tell because it's like doing act. Gene Garofalo is so great. I, man, I used to run shows in the city all the time, like stand-up shows, and I booked Gene Garofalo a few times, and she is the nicest person I have ever met in comedy. I love Gene Garofalo. She is the f***ing best. She, in this version, she's going to be a little bit goofy. I barely, it's not Gene Garofalo. Wouldn't it be great, though, if I got Gene Garofalo? No, but Lily Cooper is going to pull the f***ing fort down. It's, she's great, it's wonderful, don't fight me on this, but fight me on this. Physically, come fight me on this. Come on. Come on. The perfect choice for Linguini is Andrew Barfeld, because he looks like Linguini. But, since we kind of aged everyone up a bit, it's hard to see him on stage with Lily Cooper, because Lily Cooper looks like a, an adult woman, and he looks like a baby. I thought to go completely different. I know he doesn't look like Linguini, but perfect choice. George Salazar, fight me. I want you to get your fists ready for a fight. Because if you don't think George Salazar is perfect for this, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. George Salazar. Godspell, be more chill. That clip of uh, him from Little Shop of Horrors with MJ Rodriguez. Come on. I'll fight you. I'll fight you here. Fist, fist. Musicals. All right. And last but not least, I really feel like it's important to find someone to play Remy. See a lot of people online saying like Jeremy Jordan and Ben Platt. Those are not good yet because you can't get someone who is like the leading man type. You need a character actor, like a real, real character actor. You can't get someone who like has like a teenage appeal. You need someone in their like mid twenties or early thirties, and you need Christopher Fitzgerald. I don't know how old Christopher Fitzgerald is. I don't give a shit. He is Remy. He is Remy with a puppet, a puppet, or sometimes a have in costume. Either way, he is perfect as Remy. So, Christopher Fitzgerald, congratulations. You've got the part. Come get it. And if you disagree with anyone on the list, let me introduce you as my friends, Brad and Bert. We're going to fight you. All right? We're going to physically fight you. That's all we got. Did we forget anyone? Oh, we did. Emil. Oh, my God. Emil, um, Remy's brother Emil, who some say is the heart of the show. Someone, you need someone who, who is willing to fight for anything. Like someone who really brings it home. Like someone who like has a warmness to really put thought into every word he says. <laughs> but also you need someone who like, is like big and huggable. Like big, big fat guy who takes pride in what he does. That's why I'll be playing him. Any questions? You can take it up with Brad and Bird. It's a violent episode. I got real violent in this one. Anyway, congratulations to all these people who are working on this Rad 3 musical. It really is fantastic. Uh, there's, I'm going to link probably in the back of this video, um, a compilation of all the TikToks of the Rad 3 musical. But do yourself a favor, look it up. There's so many, there's so much, there's so much. I actually haven't seen all of it. Uh, I'm going to probably go through it over the next couple days, but, uh, check out the way that. Just check it out. Check it out. 
Hey, uh, I forgot to mention that this production will be directed by Michael Arden. And if he says no, I'll fight him. All right, let's read.